One day, little Sal went with her mother to Blueberry Hill to pick blueberries. Little Sal brought along her small tin pail, and her mother brought her large tin pail to put berries in. We will take our berries home and can them, said her mother. Then we will have food for the winter. Little Sal picked three berries and dropped them in her little tin pail. Kaplink, kaplank, kaplunk. She picked three more berries and ate them. Then she picked more berries and dropped one in the pail. Kaplunk. And the rest she ate. Then little Sal ate all four blueberries out of her pail. Her mother walked slowly through the bushes, picking blueberries as she went, and putting them in her pail. Little Sal struggled along behind, picking blueberries, and eating every single one. Little Sal hurried ahead, and dropped a blueberry in her mother's pail. It didn't sound. Over on the other side of the hill, little Sal ate all of the berries she could reach from where she was sitting. Then she started out to find her mother. She heard a noise from around a rock and thought, "That is my mother walking along." But it was a mother crow and her children, and they stopped eating berries and flew away, saying, "Caw, caw, caw!" Then she heard another noise in the bushes and thought, "That is surely my mother." And I will go that way. But it was Little Bear's mother instead. She was tramping along, eating berries, and thinking about storing up food for the winter. Little Sal tramped right along behind. By this time. Little Bear had eaten all the berries he could reach without moving from his clump of bushes. Then he hustled off to catch up with his mother. He hunted and hunted, but his mother was nowhere to be seen.